Hey, what's up coders? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create stunning border animations using CSS. Trust me, we're diving into some of the weirdest yet coolest CSS properties you've probably never heard of before. Stick around to learn how to make your website elements stand out with these eye-catching effects. Hi, I'm Channey, and welcome to CSS Nippets, the channel where you can learn the most relevant coding concepts in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to create some amazing border animations to make your web elements pop. To achieve these effects, we can't depend on the standard border property. Instead, we'll use pseudo elements to create complex animations. Let's get started. First, create an index.html file. Structure your HTML by adding classes for container, card, box, glass, and content. Once your HTML is ready, link it to your CSS file. In your CSS file, we'll define the necessary properties. For the card you want to animate, we'll use the after pseudo element. This after element will have no content and use absolute positioning. Also, give a relative position to the card, set the top, bottom, left, and right properties to zero pixels, and apply a background color. To make our pseudo element show as a border, we push it behind the card using a negative Z index and set the top, bottom, left, and right to negative three pixels. You can control the border thickness by adjusting these values. Instead of these four properties, you can use inset property to describe your value. Next, we apply a conic gradient to the pseudo element, allowing us to use single or multiple colors for a dynamic effect. We'll use transparent values to control the length of the color effect. Modify the size of the transparent color by percentages to get the desired style, and adjust the starting angle to achieve different effects. To smooth out sharp cuts between colors, repeat the first color at the end of the gradient. This creates a seamless transition. Create the animation using the border animation property with a 3.5 second duration, linear timing function, and infinite iteration count. Define keyframes to rotate the angle variable from 0 degrees to 360 degrees for a full rotation. This should make the animation work, but for some reason, it's not working. But there is a new experimental feature that can help us out. Here, we use the property rule, which is a fancy way of creating custom properties in CSS. Instead of using this variable here, I write property angle. Set up the property with the desired syntax and initial value of zero degrees. This allows our conic gradient to animate smoothly. To add a glow effect, duplicate the after element by creating a before element with identical styles. Apply a filter blur of 20 pixels to create the glow and reduce the opacity to 0.7 for a subtle effect or not too strong. Animate the blur effect with a slightly different keyframe to match the rotation. But here is a problem. The glowing effect is not rotating with the border, so we can add a blur effect animation with a slightly different keyframe to match the rotation. Now I can create a different style of border animation using only CSS. For this, use a conic gradient with two colors. But here, I want these colors in opposite corners. For this, set the initial angle to 53 degrees. So, add this value for the initial angle in the property angle. Adjust the keyframes to rotate from 53 degrees to 413 degrees for a smooth transition. And there you have it, a beautifully animated border effect using only CSS. Experiment with different colors and gradients to create unique animations for your web elements. If you learned something new today, subscribe to CSS Snippets and let me know what video you want to see next.